Hi Aries, welcome to your August 2022 general love reading. This is your girl, Mermaid Scales Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me here. This is a general love reading for the sun, moon, rising, Venus, and or any other strong placement for the sign of Aries. This will not resonate with every Aries that watches this message. And because this reading is general, not every single message may be for you. So please only take what resonates and leave what doesn't for someone else who needs to hear that message. And if this reading is not for you at all, Aries, I highly suggest checking out your other signs and different placements. Hi, cross watchers. You're very welcome here if you're interested in the Aries. Who wouldn't be? I'd like to remind Aries and cross watchers that energy is fluid. This simply means you may feel like I'm describing a certain situation in the reading where you feel the roles are flipped or reversed, and that's completely okay. You're more than welcome to use your own discretion to flip those roles if that resonates with your specific situation the best. All right, Aries, let's get this reading started. I'm going to use my sound bowl to clear and set the energy before we begin the reading. So if you are listening to this using headphones or the volume's kind of loud right now, I do suggest turning it down a little bit just for this part because I don't want your ears to hurt. So let's get this started. All right, so let's see what is going to happen for my Aries in the month of August. What energy is surrounding my Aries at this time? So Aries, for this reading, um, I will be picking up on an energy that's surrounding your energetic field of someone that has romantic feelings or intentions towards you at this time, whether you are single or you're taken, whether you're together with this person or apart from this person right now. Let's see who wants to come through for your August reading and why. What message do they have? Aries, we have decision. And it says it's time to decide about this relationship. So this is someone you've definitely been talking to that you've been engaging with. But I wonder, Aries, if you've placed the ball in their court to do something about it, because you need to hear from them if they want this, if they want you. I don't feel like they've been doing enough to really show it to you or prove it to you. So you've placed that ball in their court and you're not going to move until they reciprocate until they give you that confirmation. The letter D is sticking out to me, as in Derek, Danielle, first, middle, last, initial can mean something to someone, does not have to be the case. But someone is in the decision process of what to do about this connection with you, Aries. I wonder if some of you have been waiting for a commitment, have been waiting for an answer, a response. And if they haven't replied to your last message, I feel like they're trying to figure out what to say to you or how to reply to it, especially if it was one that has been putting them a little bit on the hot pressure. Um, you know, you have been kind of insinuating that there's no, there needs to be more coming from them if you want to stay. And if they're not going to decide, you'll decide for them. Wow. Okay. I just saw a red car too. I don't know if someone drives a red car. Or again, it's just that sometimes spirit gives me these symbols as like metaphors. And I wonder if someone just wants someone to go for it, to just full throttle, make your decision, make your mind up so you can tell me what to do as far as if I should stay or not. I feel they're testing your patience a little bit, Aries. So let's see what they want to tell you that they haven't told you. Oh, you get two cards. Okay. Okay. First of all, we have, I am trying to stop looking at your social media. And this depth of love is new to me. Okay, so maybe you guys met on social media or, you know, you have a strong social media presence. You post a lot on social media and that's how they can still check in on you, check up on you, what you've been doing. Especially if, you know, you guys have been giving each other a little bit of a break or at least you've been pulling away to see if they're going to do anything about it. Um, so, you know, they've definitely been watching, okay? They've definitely been noticing uh, the things you've posted, the locations you've posted, um, any sort of really sexy pictures you've posted. I'm seeing one of like a mirror picture that you're looking good in, okay? I don't know if it's the outfit you chose or the pose you're doing, but it's noticeable. And uh, 
they're definitely seeing that you have you're 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 putting yourself out there for them to either bite the bait or someone else maybe you know more interested you're you're letting them know that you're good with or without them um you guys have been doing a lot with your friends you've been going out a lot more that they've been noticing too but what they do want you to know that maybe they haven't told you is that this depth of love is new to me so they definitely haven't experienced these types of feelings with anyone else Aries and weirdly I saw an onion so I feel like this person's very complex I feel for most of my Aries you guys are very upfront you guys don't like to waste time you guys like to get to the point was this person just you know there's always something new that you kind of discover about this person or something that I don't know they're very complex and it's like hard for you to understand this person. Maybe they're like a Scorpio or a Pisces um, that I'm picking up on for some of you guys, not all of you. But just know that they're moving slowly or they're cautious or they're apprehensive because they've never felt this way about anyone else before. They may have never even had like a really official girlfriend or boyfriend that they felt this serious with or this close with or um you know they may have been single for a very very long time thinking they'll remain single until they met you and it's kind of a surprise for them they weren't expecting this so you kind of caught them off guard Aries to be honest and they were not prepared but you know the pressure's on you're not going to wait around forever and even if it's taken some time to process, process it faster is kind of what I feel from you guys. But they're about to decide what to do with this. And you're making it tempting for them by whatever you're posting on social media. If you don't have social media, that message isn't for you. But for those of you that are and you know what you're doing, trying to get their attention or trying to get them to notice that, you know, you're a hot commodity. You're someone that they better act on quickly before they get taken up. They're seeing it. All right. I don't know why I heard 4th of July. Like maybe you went to a celebration there where they saw pictures of you or you posted about it or I don't know. Very specific for someone out there. But let's go ahead and see what the tarot has to say. So with the tarot, I'm going to ask how do they feel about you right now? What do they think about you? What do they like about you? What do they not like about you? What do they like about the connection they have with you currently? And what do they not like about it? And what are their highest hopes and deepest fears in regards to this connection with you? This person is complex. I can tell you that. I can confirm it for you, Aries. My goodness. I get why you're frustrated, but they're kind of hurt right now. Maybe. Here, we'll get into this for a second. Um... Mm, wow. Let me get all the cards out first and then I'll show them to you guys. Dear. Okay, so out of the eight cards in the spread, one, two, three, four of them are major arcana. So this is a pretty big time for you guys in love and romance, specifically with this person. They got to figure it out quick. Honestly, guys, I feel like for some of you, I have to say that like there is something you know, I don't know if it was kind of like you've been brushing them off because they've been slow, because they haven't been, you know, doing the things you need them to do to make you feel like it's worth staying in. They're a little, they're a little hurt by your recent actions, or they think like you're kind of dismissing them or putting them aside just for some of you, but you have reasons for it, Aries. You definitely do. Um, but let's get right into it. Bottom of the deck, we have the star card. So Aquarius energy, you could be dealing with an Aquarius. You could have Aquarius in your chart. It does not have to be the case in order for this reading to resonate. People like to hear the astrological connotations. But with the star in a romance reading, it always indicates to me something very special that someone's sensing from the other person. Something very unique, one of a kind. They haven't, you know, been interested or dating dated anyone else quite like you before that you bring something very special to the table like 
with the star for me in re love readings, it's always very impactful. Like, you know, there's something so special about you, about this connection that it's hard to forget. And it's not easy to just put aside to just say, well, whatever, it didn't work out. Like, there's something that always lingers of there's something that could happen here. Someone could have a star tattoo. I'm just putting that out there. Maybe even like a neck tattoo um, or a birthmark on someone's neck even specifically. Someone could have really curly hair that the other person loves. But yeah, they felt something very special from this. And that's why it's kind of shook them a little bit, Aries. Maybe some of you are um, influential in your community, maybe on a broader sense. Maybe some of you are famous or infamous. And if it's not like worldwide, you know, but it could be something within your community, online, with your channel, with your page. Um or just known in your workforce or anything like that. And it kind of intimidates them if that is your case or situation. Someone could have blue bed sheets too, um, or someone could be wearing blue right now, which may be confirmation for someone out there. But this has hit them a bit differently, Aries. This connection, this situation, um, it's something that they are already starting to feel is special, but they're kind of in their feelings about you. And it feels a little bit like sensitive. It feels a little bit bitter. It feels a little bit resentful to be honest. And I wonder if that is because, you know, you've been doing your own thing while they make up their mind. Um, I'll get to that in one second. Let's just dive on into it actually. <laughs> so how they feel right now is the three of swords, Libra energy. And what I'm kind of paying attention to with this Three of Swords is I'm trying to stop looking at your social media. So I wonder if you re left this person on red or again, like you kind of called this person out in some way that they weren't prepared for, that you kind of caught them off guard with. And ever since then, it's like you've been doing your own thing. You're in your own world. You're in your own zone. And, you know, they've been wanting to talk to you, but they see or get the sense that, you know, you're doing your own thing. Um, but they do feel hurt, I guess. And so I feel like they may be hurt by the fact that you're not paying as much attention to them anymore, or it looks like you're not caring about this as much anymore. I kind of want to clarify this Three of Swords to how it got here. So let's do that. Oh, there we go. Um, way too many. <laughs> like five overturned. Oh, okay, this one dropped. The moon. Pisces energy, cancer energy. Now, this may be coming from whoever has a lot of complexity to them, who only shows one side, who, you know, kind of, I don't know, I'm picking up on someone maybe the other person sees as being a little bit fake, almost as if like, depending on their environment and who they're around, they act differently. And I wonder if you picked up on this with their, like who they are with you versus who they are with their friends or with their family members. Um, this person's very secretive. And because they weren't willing to show you everything or what, weren't re like ready to get vulnerable or to open up and keep you guessing. Maybe you did kind of cut this off or maybe you did, you know, leave them on red or just not respond or maybe even ghosted to some degree. That's really upset them. It's made them worried. It's made them anxious because I don't think that's what they were planning. I don't think that's what they wanted was for you to end this or for you to get a break from this or for you to drop this. They feel a little bit dropped or discarded. Um, even though you may not see it that way, that's how they feel. I also kind of feel like if you have been posting a lot on social media, doing a lot of things with a lot of different people, they may be thinking you're hooking up with other people. And I don't think you guys are in like a committed relationship to where that would be cheating per se, but they worry that you you know, aren't really looking for that type of relationship or that, you know, you're trying to get them jealous or trying to get them worked up. They may think you're trying to play games here with their heart, to be honest, Aries, even if that's not your intention, 
you weren't going to wait around forever. So maybe you are looking for your other options. They're very hurt by that. Bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Cups. Pisces energy, strong Pisces energy in this reading. So if you're dealing with a Pisces or if you have Pisces in your chart, check out the Pisces reading to see if there's messages for you there. But yeah, with this Nine of Cups, they're, they had these high hopes for it, but I think they weren't really getting the message, Aries, that like they had to act quickly. They had to act soon. Um, they were taking too long. They were, you know, not diving as deep as you wanted them to go. They weren't willing to show you everything that they were thinking and feeling. And I think they kind of took this a little bit for granted or took your presence a little bit granted or took the fact that you would be around for granted. And maybe for some of you, you felt like they weren't giving you what you wanted. And if it wasn't making you emotionally fulfilled or happy anymore, then what's the point of sticking around? Now, this is where a little bit of the resentment comes in. I'm going to be completely honest. And again, roles could be reversed. But what they think about this connection, what they may think of you, interestingly, is spoiled brat. Interesting. So this is where the bitterness kind of comes in. And I think, again, they get jealous seeing what you're doing on social media, getting all dressed up, going to go out. Um, they feel like you're not regarding their feelings at all, their emotions at all. And again, if it's reversed, it's reversed. Um, but maybe Aries, this is how you think of them in the way that like, how can they think they could have their cake and eat it too? Someone here, right? That, you know, they want things their way, but they're unwilling to compromise. And maybe the, you know, for a while they saw that, as long as it was on their terms, their way, they would be happy with it. Do you know Aries? <laughs> do you know how to date an Aries? You can't keep an Aries caged in. You can't make an Aries do anything they don't want to do. And so then again, like I think because you weren't unwilling to compromise, you weren't willing to settle less, they view it as you dissing them, rejecting them. But that's like their childish side. That's their ego side. And maybe that's the side of them that you don't like either. Maybe someone is a little bit um, stuck up, a little bit snobby, a little bit judgmental. That kind of turns someone off as well. But maybe they think you pass this judgment on them, Aries. Um, you know, I think too, maybe someone views the other person as being very sheltered and used to getting everything that they want. Um, and because, you know... Um, you know, I'm hearing that song by Mariah Carey, Obsessed, um, and it's the lyric in it that's, um, you finally found a girl that you couldn't impress, um, which I know isn't the, you know, most happy romantic song in the world at all, but it's almost like because they weren't the ones to make you just completely be submissive or ready for anything or waiting on anyone like that, you know, they, they do feel a little rejected in their, in their ego and feelings about feeling like they got rejected by you in this moment. Maybe you're just waiting for them to do something about it, but the longer they sit crying over spilled milk, not doing anything, it's more solidifying for you about who they are and what you want from them. That's what they may not realize. And someone could have a side part in their hair. What they like the most about you is the Queen of Wands, Aries energy. You could have multiple Aries placements, but yeah, you're attractive. You're magnetic. You are the light of the party. You could be the center of attention. And if it's not even that you need to be the center of attention, you just naturally are. You carry this glow and presence with you that when you walk in a room, people start looking and wanting to get to know who you are. You are very charming. Um, I mean, physically, you're on point. You know, I don't know, maybe you dress in a very sexy way or in a way that shows off what you have, your muscles, your curves, your legs, whatever is your best assets, okay? You know how to show it. Um, particularly someone likes someone's ass. I'm just going to put that out there. But yeah, they, they, they 
sense this from you from the beginning and maybe they're not used to people like you Aries who is so themselves who is free with themselves who is confident with themselves and I don't know they may find it a little bit intimidating to be honest and with like I don't know I'm looking back at this like spoiled brat card again they find it hard to impress you I guess um they find it hard to they may feel like, you know, they're not good enough and whether they're projecting that onto you or whatever reason, like they find it like whatever they can give to you is not good enough because you know what you want. And if they're not giving you what you want, you know, it's not coming from like an egotistical place, I feel, but out of the rejection, they're kind of turning it that way. But they love how attractive you are, how funny you are how charismatic you are, for some of you outgoing, your arm candy, your eye candy, they like to show you off, they like to brag about you, and you're a go-getter. If someone isn't going to do it, you'll make sure you do it. You know, you're always the person that, you know, will let your attentions be known if you're feeling someone, if you're attracted to someone. What they don't like about you, eight of wands. Interesting, Sagittarius energy. So first of all, um, you could have a strong social media presence, like I said, and they may think you post things that are too sexual, too sexy. Um, maybe trying to get attention from other people that they don't like. Again, whether it's true or not, this is what they think. But I'm gonna leave it at that. Um, eight of wands too could also mean there's a distance between the two of you that makes it difficult where you guys do have to only, you know, communicate through social media, through WhatsApp, um, FaceTime. I'm even seeing uh, a little bit of naughty FaceTime that may have happened between the two of you, but that maybe it was just, it felt like you were so quick to move on, to go to the next. They may find you to be a little bit impulsive. They may find you to be a little bit impatient. Um, and that's something they may struggle with too, Aries. But you're just so sure of yourselves, I think. And anything that kind of tries to get in the way of what you want in love and romance or what you think is best for you, you'll leave it where it's at. And again, I feel like they think you're teasing them in some way, whether you're coming off as a tease or like you're trying to taunt them through, you know, you're ignoring of them or you're flaunting on social media, whatever it is. But I don't think that's the case. I think this is all their wounds being projected onto you, Aries. And that's something they need to work through and decide. You know, if this is something I do want, even if I am afraid of the depths it could go, as we saw as this love is, you know, a new depth to me, like, what am I willing to compromise? What am I willing to do for the person I'm interested in, for the person I want to be with? Because maybe the spoiled brat is them in some way where they just didn't want to move forward with it. They were stubborn with it. And look what happens. Anyway. What they like the most about this connection is the sun card, Leo energy. So even getting the energy from this card here is like a pillow fight. You, They have a lot of fun with you when you guys are good. When you guys are in a good space with one another, you have a lot of fun. Um, you take them a little bit out of their comfort zone. You, I don't know, your flirtation is very playful, is very, you know, um, I don't know, or you like to do a lot of things for, like, great things for your career. You don't like to stay in one place for too long. Maybe you guys have, like, a lot of different interests. Um, you know, maybe you're really into music, but you're also into photography, or, you know, you really like to, you know, go rock climbing, or you like to go, you know, you, you do a lot of things that keeps you stimulated, that keeps you adventurous, and... Overall, you know, despite whatever just recently happened that's making them in the Three of Swords vibe, they've had a great time with you. Maybe some of you shared like a vacation together, a holiday together, um, and they think about that vacation a lot. 
where you guys both got an Airbnb that you split and they had a lot of fun. And maybe that's where, you know, the Three of Swords is kind of coming into play that they thought this was so much more, that they were going to have so much more with you without doing what it needed to take, interestingly enough. Someone could be wearing their pajamas right now. Um, I'm seeing striped pajama shorts, boxers, or um, pants, interestingly enough. But they had a great time, and you do... I don't know. They just find you to be a really fun person to be around. But what they don't like about this connection right now is the death card. Scorpio energy. So yeah, they're afraid it's over. They think it's over. They fear that it's over. The longer they wait to do something to act on it, the more that nail is going in the coffin. But they felt like you you put the end to it. You were the reason why it ended. And for them, for some, I got to be honest here, they feel like they didn't see it coming. They didn't know where it went wrong. Even if you were communicating with them or you were trying to show every sign or message to them, it's like hit them out of nowhere. And that's where the star kind of lingers, right? They're afraid they're not going to have this with anyone else the connection you guys had, the presence you have. Again, this person is complex. <laughs> um, but with the death card, yeah, they're, they're afraid it's truly, truly over and that, you know, you haven't spoken since your last conversation, however long ago it was. It could have been a few days, a few weeks, a few months, I don't know. Even end of April, I'm hearing for some of you guys. But... Yeah, they, they, that's, they don't realize that the decisions in their court, if they want to reach out to talk about things, I think you'd be open to it. But the longer they stay afraid or stay hiding or pouting, it, it is going to end. It's inevitable. Highest hopes is the moon card. Pisces energy, Cancer energy. For some of you, I feel like on your end, you're just hoping they'll figure it out. Whatever they need to do, whatever they need to face, whatever they need to confront, you know, shadow wise, ego wise, you hope that they'll make the right choice and, you know, start to move towards their intuition. Their, you know, the, there was a spark between the two of you. That's very obvious. But again, like, you don't have, want to rely on your intuition all the time to give you the answers this person isn't willing to give you out of fear with the moon card especially. Fear of, you know, being the one that's oversharing, the one that is being, you know, vulnerable, the one that's whatever it is. Um, but for some of you, I feel with this moon card, they're hoping that the telepathic psychic cord that's between the two of you is still very very strong and what I mean by that is like for example for this person to even come up in your reading right now even if it's been very long since you guys have talked like their energy is still very much sent your way is still connected to you um they may have dreams of you maybe you've dreamt of them very recently and you're trying to figure out what that dream was all about daydreams of you and with that energy being sent your way, that's why the cord is still strong. And they're hoping that you still feel the same way, even if you're not willing to express it or show it. They're hoping that, you know, what you're hiding is your true feelings. That is reciprocated at this time. But again, they're still very upset or hurt by whatever led to the three of swords of you guys separating or not talking or giving each other a break, even if it's been temporary or very recently. They're just in this whole emotional mess over the situation and they really need time to figure it out and more importantly to decide what they want to do about it. The choice is theirs, I feel. And that's how you feel too. You're not going to put any initiative forward. You've already done enough. So are you going to just continue to watch my social media? Are you going to do something about it, right? Deepest fears is the tower. Aries energy, Scorpio energy, strong Mars energy, destruction, collapse, failure. Um, you know that this really has, is going to shake up their world if this doesn't work. If 
if they take too long to decide, again, you'll decide for them. You will be that outside factor that burns the bridge, that gets that tower crashing, where you guys can't have this moment of reconciliation. You wouldn't allow it. That, you know, what damage has been done has already been done. That there's no repair, there's no relief. Um, that you're not working to rebuild whatever's been collapsed between the two of you. That's their deepest fear in this. And that they can't have that closeness with you anymore. And more importantly, again, like they're never going to meet anyone like you. Or have that feeling or connection with anyone like you. Even if there have been obstacles or difficulties between it, there's something that's sparking them far more than the difficulties that you guys have experienced with one another. They're hoping that it's not gone for good or done for good. That the tower can still be rebuilt or hasn't fallen completely over yet. They're also afraid of really pissing you off too. If they have already done it, then they're still a little shook by it. And again, that's maybe where they're in their Three of Swords. Um, spoiled brat card energy that we saw there of just being mad that the tower fell already. Or they're just afraid that if they were to approach you again, you would call them out, call them off, I guess. Or tell them off, whatever you want to say it. But anyways, Aries. We're going to go ahead and take this to Vimeo for the extended reading. I'm going to overturn this card here to show you the likely outcome of the situation, what's likely to unfold for the two of you. Are they going to decide or are they going to let it all walk away? So if you'd like to join me for the extended reading, I'm going to overturn this card here and pull some oracle cards as well to dive deeper into this connection. To join me, you can open up the description box and you'll find the link to Vimeo, which will take you to the extended reading. But if this is where you depart, Aries, I really hope that this reading has resonated with you. It's provided you with clarity, insight, healing, and guidance in regards to your love life and to your situation. And if it has, please let me know. Drop a comment below, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. I love you, Aries, very much. And I'll see you next time. Take care, Aries.